Hi gang, Rob here. It is the evening of 1 August 2016. And if you're used to seeing these in the truck videos, you probably noticed something a little different. And if you watch my channel much, you might know that I'm sort of a connoisseur of eyewear. Yeah, eyewear. <clears throat> my favorite pair of sunglasses of all time is the pilot model from American Optical AO. You see me wearing those a lot. <clears throat> the chrome frames with the Cosmaton brown lenses. These are a different pair by a different manufacturer. And this is a model of sunglass that I've been after for a long time, but they're so bloody expensive. I found a nice new in-box pair from a private seller on eBay, exactly in the configuration I wanted. They are the Concord Aviator by Randolph Engineering. I've had these for about a week now, and it's time to put them on the tabletop and let you know what I think. So stick around, my friends. It's going to be interesting. Okay. Well, let's, get, let's kind of take a look at some background before we get into this particular sunglass. <clears throat> I'll give you the last few years of history in my relentless pursuit of eyewear that makes the world look better. <clears throat> Let's get this box out of the way. Let's see, a few years ago I was about to, I think I was about 46 or 40, yeah, probably 46 and I was in the reading glass stage of my life and <clears throat> I've never been much of an Oakley fan or a Maui Jim fan. I kind of always perceive Maui Jims to be kind of a poor man's Oakley. Not the case, by the way. So I bought these. These are the Maui Jim Makaha. A super lightweight <clears throat> pair of sport glasses, polarized amber lenses, and look at that. Little reading glasses in the bottom. But I found the polycarbonate lenses to be rather wanting. I'm not sure. There you go. After about <clears throat> six months of wear and not a very bad collision with anything, this big scratch happens. Well, <clears throat> yeah. These things are like feather light. I bet they don't even weigh an ounce. Let's look. I want to keep the scale handy here because it'll be relevant later in this, uh, this review. Let's see what these Maui gems weigh. Not very darn much, I can tell you that. Look at that. Stop rocking. 0.8 ounces. Yeah, probably, if I could set them down without rocking, there. 0 0.7. 0 0.8, somewhere in that range. So, <clears throat> super lightweight. Frankly, they never inspired much confidence. And you know, I've had lots of pairs of Ray-Bans and unbeknownst to me, my last few pairs kind of sucked. <clears throat> unbeknownst to me that uh, Ray-Bans were no longer made in America. Luxottica had purchased them and started making Ray-Bans, I think, in China. <clears throat> you know how I feel about that. So, I wanted to buy a pair of sunglasses that were well made, American made, had glass lenses, beautiful optics, and you guys know what I bought, don't you? I bought the original Pilot from American Optical. Awesome, awesome glasses. I think I've had these for over four years. They've been my daily wear sunglass, and I wear sunglasses all the time. These are my outsider in the car glasses. Um, <clears throat> with polarized Cosmaton brown lenses and bright chrome frames. I think I had only about 86 or 88 bucks in these. Best pair of glasses I've ever owned. <clears throat> By the way, I still have that reading glass thing. We'll talk about this just a little as we move on. But These are static cling reusable reader appliques. They're from a company called Optics 2020, that's O-P-T-X 20 slash 20. 
They are the HydraTac readers. You can buy them for like 25 bucks a set. You can take them off one pair of glasses and put them on another, but when you trim to fit, that becomes problematic. <clears throat> awesome way to go, by the way. So these are unbelievably great sunglasses. They're, they're well made. They have beautiful optics. 100% UVA and UV, UVB protection. They've been making that model since 1958. American Optical was a military supplier for years and years and years back into the 30s, I believe. They just make great stuff here in America. By the way, this sunglass will now run you about 104 bucks. Interesting. Uh, these were my budget choice back in, I think, 2012. Over this sunglass, the one I the, the, that we're reviewing today, because these were bloody expensive. Now, with a retail of 230, the gold-plated, polarized, tan-lensed Randolph Engineering Concord with a 230 retail can be had for about 130 bucks at reputable retail sites. So only about 25 or six dollars more expensive than the AO Original Pilot. So we're now we're getting down to earth. Uh, as I said in the intro, I bought these from a private seller, brand new on eBay, shipped for like $70.99. I won a bidding auction. <clears throat> so I was really happy to get them. Okay, so let's move on to my history. <clears throat> Motorcycle riding. <clears throat> I used to prefer the goggle type glass because they were really the only thing that kept wind out of my eyes. I had I had an old pair of like classic, you know, fighter pilot goggles with leather pads and then I, some years later bought this pair of birds with this horrible foam that deteriorates and gets in your eyes. And I quit wearing those. The elastic strap wore out. I went away from the goggle. I bought this this pair of uh, Wiley XP 38s, a discontinued model now. Um, awesome motorcycle riding sunglass. Uh, still kind of cheap polycarbonate lenses. I would say medium to poor optics. The polarization is a coating. You can see that sort of blue iridescent glow. Um, but the fit and the wind protection and the coverage, superb! $50 pair of glasses. I think I didn't pay that. <clears throat> So those are my everyday sunny day motorcycle glasses and then I got this pair of Bobsters. These are the Bobster Enforcer and these came with three sets of interchangeable lenses. Um, I bought them basically just to get the clear for night riding. They also come with like a yellow like a shooting glass lens and a gray smoke which I don't prefer for sunny days, just don't like it. Um, but these are great. They're called the Enforcer because they emulate the sunglasses Dirty Harry wore in the movie of the same name. Again, great coverage, great wind protection. No obstruction at the bridge, just a nice pair of riding glasses. I don't wear them during the day though, I wear the Wiley X's. So that just gives you an idea. I'm, I'm a little odd about sunglasses like I am about my knives. <clears throat> That's a, a mere sampling, by the way, guys. So, <clears throat> let's get into this. Okay, let's compare these Randolphs, which even though they're less expensive, or they're more expensive, I really consider this kind of the standard. The AO Original Pilot. Um, as you can see, let's kind of put them up again it very similar construction the original pilot has the more squared off aviator lens the uh, the Randolph engineering Concord is more that classic teardrop aviator I kind of prefer the coverage I get with these um, let's kind of go over them though bit by bit construction they're both constructed of brazed stainless steel frames chrome plated here 23 karat gold plated here both excellent frames with excellent processes you can get 
a similar gold plate on the AO. Um, both are available in a variety of frame finishes from chrome to black to gold. Uh, matte chrome is available in the AO. A variety of lenses, both glass and polycarbonate on the AO. <clears throat> I think the Randolphs are all glass. Uh, temple options you can do on the AO, the, the bayonet which I prefer, the skull like you see here or the comfort wire that wrap the you know the soft wire that wraps around your ears. The Randolphs are available only in bayonet or skull. So let's look at them sort of <clears throat> in the critical areas. So these are the AOs. You have one clamp screw at each temple here and one tension adjuster or the, the disassembly screw for the temple is here. And I think you're going to see something very similar on the Concorde. Very similar construction. Let's look at something I think is a little bit important. Look at the section thickness of the frames. Might be a little hard to tell because there's a slight bevel on the AO, but it's a thicker frame and they have thicker glass. And I think the temples are a little thicker on the AO as well. I think you can see that. Very similarly styled sunglasses though. Let's look at the weight. I haven't weighed these yet. Remember that pair of Maui gems was seven or eight tenths of an ounce and guys you're th I know what you're thinking aren't you oh well they're glass lens metal framed sunglasses they must be heavy now, let's see 1.3 ounces on the AO and on the Randolph's I bet they're less oh, the same I never would have guessed that they feel lighter and hand lighter on the face. So 1.3 ounces, those are not heavy glasses. Um, they just aren't. <clears throat> and guys, if you're comparing these against uh, a Ray-Ban Aviator, um, <laughs> well, it's the, these, either one of these sunglasses compared to a Ray-Ban Aviator is like comparing a Sebenza to a Chinese made Kershaw. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just is. Uh, the optics on the Ray-Bans are terrible, the frame construction is terrible, uh, they're super flimsy, they don't last, lenses fall out of, uh, out of frames, they're horrible. Okay, let's look at some differences other than styling and temple differences. One big difference and one thing that I dislike my favorite sunglass for are the nose pieces. Well, actually, the method of suspending the nose pieces. If you notice, let's come in close. A pretty heavy wire, but it is adjustable basically only in and out and a little bit up and down. You cannot really change the setback for the nose from the lens with that style nose piece mount. Notice the difference between those and the Randolph. See how the wire it, it, it comes up and around instead of just this direction so I can I can go in out you know toward the nose away from the nose I can change the angle and most importantly I can move them this direction which is important for my face and my nose. There's nothing I dislike worse on a pair of sunglasses than if this bar or the top of the frame hits my brow when I move my eyebrows. <laughs> With these nose pieces I can move them back, catch the very top of my nose um, instead of resting on the bone, uh, can catch the soft part and still not have my eyebrows hidden, which sounds like a small thing, but if you wear sunglasses a lot, you know what I'm talking about. A much better temple design. Uh, now let's talk about optics. Uh, 
These fit better. With one exception, I don't get as good a side and wrap coverage, even though they're about the same contour, this curve. Um, I see my temples more with these glasses because they're more in my line of sight. It's a little higher temple mount on the uh, original Pilot. Look here. I think you can see that. So I, I see my temple more, at least in the first week of wearing these. Uh, now optics, they both have super clear uh, tan lenses. They really bring the greens to life in the summertime. The, you put these glasses on, I have perfect far vision. I, I need readers, but my long, long distance vision is perfect. Either of these glasses, you put them on, and it's like everything just got better. Um, that's a fact. One thing I'm a little puzzled about, um, you, see, you noticed on the pair of uh, Wiley X's, they had that iridescent blue cast looking at them from the inside. That, I believe, and you guys who know more about this, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that means the polarization is just an applied film over the glass, albeit on the inside. Notice I got the same optics, 2020 HydroTax on these. Um, I don't believe that's going to hold up as well with repeated cleaning. Notice the AOs have the polarization in the glass. Okay. You have no layer like that. Um, so optically, I'm going to say these are superior to these. They, they do seem to have just a little prettier look through the lenses, I think, as well. Um, but I haven't had these for four years. I've had them for a week. So here's my general evaluation and a comparison uh, fit and finish frame strength on on par uh, nose pieces clearly better on the Randolph's um, location of the temples and, and side coverage a little better on the AOs optically I'm gonna give the nod to the AOs <clears throat> so why did I buy these they are so similar well you know some days I wear browns <laughs> I don't really have any jewelry that's gold, gold, you know, yellow gold, but some days, you know, I just kind of, kind of want something different. And I've, I've always been a big fan of Randolph's. And just to go over some <clears throat> details about the company and the product. Uh, the company was founded in 1976 in Massachusetts. They've been building this model of sunglass. Boy, that's a horrible view, isn't it? Um, since almost the beginning, I think. Uh, they might have had another aviator model called something else before they called it the Concorde after the old supersonic transport jet. Um, they're mineral glass that conforms to ANSI Z803 impact standards, so you can go shooting with these glasses. Uh, again, just like the... Uh, optical glass and the AO they're 100 percent UVA and UVB protection um, they're so particular about the construction of their aviators at Randolph that not only do they solder every joint by hand and have over 200 manufacturing operations that go into the manufacture of a pair of their glasses they make their own solder flux to make sure that it works with the with the particular steel that they use from which to make their glasses so they're super detail oriented um, just a really really nice pair of sunglasses I really kind of I don't know I, I prefer the bayonet style temple I don't like the way that these sort of dig into the top of my ear but this is a really comfortable pair uh, if I really, really don't like it after a while, I can always order a new pair of temples with bayonet ends on them. But I kind of like them. I will definitely wear both. We'll see what happens in four or five years when these glasses are as old as these. Don't know. But very comparable. I'll be interested to see how that coating holds up. You know what, now let's look at what comes in the box. We never did do that. Other than the glasses, 
you get the snap closure case. It is a really nicely grained synthetic leather with a synthetic suede lining. Get a nice microfiber cleaning cloth that you saw in the thumbnail. Oh, it must be aviators. And there's this little Velcro compartment back here in the back of the sunglasses case. But I don't have anything in right now because what goes in here is actually in the box. So let's get it out and look at it. It's this. Every pair of Randolph's comes with a maintenance kit with a pair of screws and a another pair of screws. So I'd imagine one screw is lens clamp and one is temple. And then two replacement nose pieces, which are a soft, grippy silicone with a hard plastic mount. Even when you sweat, these are supposed to stay put, and so far they have. And then, in addition, we have a nifty little key ring, sunglasses, screwdriver, flat blade on one end, O-ring sealed, and I think the other side's a Phillips. How about that? I haven't decided where to keep this stuff. I'm really thinking of just keeping them in the box because I don't want to lose them. But nicely made stuff, I believe. That is all for this one, my friends. Hope you enjoyed it, and initial review, highly recommended, especially at today's prices. They've really come down to earth. Um, so I'm going to enjoy them. Hope you enjoy yours if you buy them. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And remember the word, and these here gold Randolphs are sharp.